Hey everybody, John Locke here, and these are my Yale One Leashy Cutter Jigs, um, and this is version 1.1, and yeah, bad news is that they are not gonna, they're not gonna work. Um, let me show you what I've got here. The key orients, uh, like this. No, what am I doing? Yeah, like this into the jig. Um, and it looks like it's fitting uh, pretty nicely, but the problem is that, you can see here, there's quite a wide gap between where the key rests in the jig and and the back of the jig. You can just see there's a gap there. And my measurements are all from this back wall to this um, for the guideline. So if this if the back of the key is not firmly against the back wall, then all of the cuts are going to be off. And that's what I fear about uh, this this key is it's just yeah the measurement all the cuts are going to be shallow on it so I just don't think it's going to work uh, we'll give it one little test here uh, we'll try a, a three cut and let's go ahead and give it a snip and I'll pull out my spec sheet for the Yale give me one second here to find it okay Yale should be at 6.9 on the cut. Let's take a look there on the micrometer. Okay, we're zeroed out. And the three cut is on here 0 0.682. So we are, we're actually, we're not too far off. Interesting. So we're, you know, 0.7 off. Let's give it a cut, a couple more cuts, and just see how uh, close we are on some other cuts. I'll do a, a two cut. Okay, a two cut should be 7.28. And we are at 7.20. Uh, but we're, we're deep on all of them uh, because we should be back a little bit further. So that's, that's why we're deep because it's, it's the key's too far this way, meaning we're cutting off more than uh, we should. And that makes sense. I mean, we're off by just a little bit back here. If this was pushed back all the way, then we would be getting slightly shallower cuts. And that's all we need. So we're close. This just needs to be pushed back a little bit. Um, because of the key geometry here, um, you can kind of see on the side here, it's not going to be great for holding it in pressure fit. It's going to be a really difficult task to get that pressure fit because it's got a an angle on it. So it's just gonna, if I try to make it pressure fit, it's gonna slide out uh, every time. So this one, you're gonna have to hold, uh, you know, the, the jig to the key, but it's fitting pretty nicely. What I like is that right now on the model, it doesn't have back and forth play. Once the key's in there, um, it's not back and forth. It just needs to move back enough so that the back of the key is touching this part. So um, I've just basically got to take this whole ramp system, move it back a little bit uh, and uh, see if we can get that dialed in. Um, and we're getting pretty close here. But right now, I think you're going to get key cuts that are too deep. Um, and unfortunately, that's a problem. Um, if you go too shallow, you can uh, you can file them a little bit. But too deep, uh, there's not really a good way to recover uh, from that. So. Uh, Hopefully version 1.2, I'll take another stab at this and try to get these working uh, a little better, get these dialed in. Um, but wanted to give you an update now for the version 1.1 on the Yale uh, leashy cutter jigs. 
All right, guys, with that, just hope you have a good rest of your day, a good rest of your week, and look forward to seeing you uh, when I do an update for version 1.2. Bye for now.